In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to update our gradebook for each one of the courses. So um, this is going. The first part is going to be like a review for you. Uh, how to mark a, a lesson? So you click in lesson here. You can see all the submissions from the students. So let's go ahead with the first one, for example, to give you an example. So there are four parts or three parts actually that you have to fill out. The first one. It's the actual grade, but that actual grade is based on the rubric, considering all the four aspects from the achievement chart and uh, the feedback you provide for the student that has to contain like two parts mainly, strengths and uh, opportunities for improvement, uh, giving like a brief description of uh, what the student has been doing correctly and uh, the steps needed uh, for him to improve his performance okay so once you have filled out all these fields you click here and return the grade uh, to the student you can also do it like in a more efficient way uh, i'm gonna go back to the grades section so you can choose the lesson click on the three dots and return all the marks to all the students you have in your class Okay, so uh, to import the grades for, uh, for your course to a Google Spreadsheet, it's important for you to make sure that you have returned all the grades to the students, all the marks to the students. For example, here in lesson number two, in this particular case, uh, it has only been returned to the second student, not to the other three. So let's see what happens. How are you going to import and where to, which is important. So you go to Google Drive and in Google Drive, you look for the folder academics and inside the academics folder, you're going to find each one of the subjects. Sorry, before that you find the, you click on the folder subjects and inside that, that subjects folder, you're going to find each one of the subjects we are teaching in the school. So for this example, I'm going to click on business and inside business, I'm going to click on gradebook. If I'm teaching French, then I would go for the French uh, folder, uh, English, English folder and so on and so forth. So I double click on this file that is called gradebook BBM 4M. You have to make sure that uh, the two codes, I mean the, the course and the classroom matches, right? Okay, so since I already have it here open, what I'm gonna do is go to the sheet that is called Classroom, then I go to Extensions and click on Magic Classroom Import. Once I'm there, I click on Launch. I have this bar, this menu on my left, and I have all the classes that uh, the school is delivering, so I scroll down and look for my course this case BB4M and I select the lesson I want to import the marks for should I import names no because we have already done that so you don't need to do it again and you click on import assignments it prompts for this box saying that the system is processing and then it lets you know that the process is complete so you click ok so what what actually happened what did actually happen the system imports the marks you have on your classroom let's check for example for the first student in lesson number one you gave him a 6.5 6.5 let's check the last one so the last one has four let's check in here yeah four so everything is correct for lesson number one so how about if I want to import the next lesson so I come here I follow the same procedure extensions magic classroom import and launch and then I come here select the course and uh, click on lesson number two click on import assignment and there you go it's ready what's going on here it, the system is telling me okay you just have value a, a valid mark for the second student and for the three remaining students you do not 
because you have not returned the mark for those students. So there are two options that I have here. Come to classroom and give the marks to the remaining students and return, return to all, and then repeat, repeat the procedure. What is repeat the procedure? So I come here, delete what I had imported be before and import it again. So I import lesson number two again, pretending, let's pretend that I, have, I had already updated their marks and let's pretend this is okay. The other way to do it is, if I do not, do not want to repeat the procedure, it's I come here, mark the student, and let's say this uh, first student got an eight. So I come here to the spreadsheet, click eight, for example, right? Let's, for example, five, four, uh, seven. Okay, there you go. You have updated uh, your, your gradebook. The best and most optimal way to do it is before importing your marks to the spreadsheet uh, to update all of them here in Classroom. So how often should we do this procedure? Uh, every week. We need to do it every week because the aim this year is to keep parents and partner schools updated about the performance of the students so we can prevent students that uh, are not keeping up with the pace uh, of the course and are not following the course schedule that we had proposed for this year. So uh, thank you very much.